Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will take a look at single expression functions in Kotlin. So now the question is, what are single expression functions? Well, if we have a function that only returns a single expression, then the curly braces around the function body can be removed and the expression is written after the equal to sign. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So let's create a function that determines if the temperature is too hot. So let's just define the function. So I'm going to type fun is uh, too hot. And this will take temperature. And this will be of type integer. Then we'll define the function body. And this function will return a boolean. So it, it will return true or false. So let's return if a temperature is greater than 90. So if the temperature is greater than 90, then we will return true, otherwise it's going to return a false. Now I'm going to call the function from the main function. So I'm going to type is a too hot. And I'm going to pass in, let's say 70. And I'm going to print the result on the output window. So I'm going to wrap this with the println function. Let's uh, run the program and uh, see the output. So our program is up and running and we can see we have a false printed down in the output window. So as we can see, we have a function that only returns a single expression. It will return either true or false. So if uh, such a function, so if we have a function that only returns a single expression, then we can remove the curly braces and then the function body can be removed and the expression can be written in a single line after an equal to sign. And we can also omit the return statement. So now this becomes a one-liner. So that's how we define a single expression function. So we will get the same output if we run the program again. So I'm going to run it. So our program is up and running and here we can see we have a false printed down in the output window. So one more thing to note is that we can remove the return type if it can be inferred by the compiler. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and this will work just fine. One more thing to note is that a Kotlin does not infer a return types for functions with block bodies because such functions may have complex control flow in the body and the return type will be non-obvious to the reader as well as for the compiler. So this only applies to the function without the block body. So that's it for this video and in the next one we will explore insects functions.